Christmas Through a Knot Hole by Katherine Gibson, illustrated by Gertrude Elliott Espenshide. Old Hans was the best woodcarver in all the land, but just three weeks before Christmas he was thrown into jail. Again and again he had been told not to hunt in the king's own hunting ground, but Hans's mouth would water for the taste of roast rabbit, and to the king's lands he would go and set his traps. This time, alas, Hans was caught. The jailer was a kind man. Since Hans was old, he let him have a fire and some wood to carve. But Hans was very unhappy. To be in jail on Christmas, when all the village was making merry. Hans lived all alone, but he had a good friend named Gretchen. Gretchen was seven years old and had big gray eyes and long, smooth yellow hair and two pigtails. Gretchen also had a little brother named Max. He was as round and brown as she was pink and white. He was as naughty and full of laughter as she was quiet and thoughtful. Oh, Max, what shall we do? Poor Uncle Hans is in jail just for hunting rabbits. He always has his Christmas dinner with us. Now he won't have any, not a bite. And worse than that, we won't get any toys, said Max. For every year, of course, old Hans carved the most wonderful toys for them. Max looked cross. Gretchen looked sad. They walked past the jail. Like all the other houses in the village, it was made of wood. The walls were very thick, and the only window was far, far above their heads. Suddenly, Max said, Look, there's a hole! It was a large knot hole in the wood. Max stood on his tiptoes and put his eye to the hole. I can see him. I can see old Hans. He's carving, just the way he always does. Oh, Max, let me see, cried Gretchen. She bent down, and sure enough, she could see old Hans, or part of him. Max took out his pocket knife, every boy in the village carried a knife, and scratched at the hole until he made it bigger. Then he put his lips to the hole and called, Hans, Uncle Hans, come here, come to the knot hole. Old Hans was surprised. He got up and followed the sound of the excited small voice. The children told him all the village news. In turn, he told them how long the days were in jail. It will be a sad Christmas for you, Uncle Hans, said Gretchen. We will miss you at home. For us, it'll be even worse. Max was almost crying. We won't have any toys, not one. You come back here tomorrow, Uncle Hans said. The children could hardly wait for the next day. In the morning, they hurried back to the knot hole. Here we are, here Here we are, are, Uncle Hans. Hans. They shouted. The knot hole was bigger now. Out of it, Uncle Hans pushed a tiny wooden figure. It was a little boy carrying a flower in his hand. Oh! cried Max. It's just like me! Only you never carry flowers, said Gretchen. You just carry big sticks. The next day, a fat duck came through the knot hole. Then a market woman. Why, that is old Martha, said Gretchen. Day after day, the tiny carved figures came through the knot hole. At last, the children had a whole village, and not one toy was more than three inches high. Uncle Hans has done so much for us, said Gretchen. I wonder, can we make him a knot hole Christmas dinner? They talked with their mother, and this is what they did. They wrapped some fine pieces of roast goose into long, thin bundles, four of them. They took some long, thin sausages that Hans liked ever so much. Gretchen baked some rolls. They were a very funny shape, not very different from the sausages, long and thin. Even the Christmas cakes were rolled up tight with sugar and nuts inside. And a tall, thin candle. A Christmas candle. I will make it myself, said Max. And he did. Christmas Eve came. There was snow on the pointed roofs of the houses and on the pointed tops of the fir trees. Just as the lights were lit, Max and Gretchen went to the jail. Uncle Uncle Hans! Hans, Uncle Uncle Hans! Hans! They called old Hans. He came and gave them the prettiest toy of all. It was a funny, fat little fellow with a star on his head. A Christmas angel. Then Max pushed and Gretchen pushed, and soon Hans's Christmas dinner was inside the jail. Last of all, Max pushed through the candle. Made it myself, he said proudly, jumping up and down. The children said they had never had such toys, never. And they loved them because they were so tiny, 
and Hans said the best dinner he ever had was the Christmas dinner through a knot hole. End of Christmas through a knot hole.